Hello everybody and welcome back to DCMX Gaming. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to download the older or more compatible versions of Minecraft if you're having any Windows issues. Now I don't exactly know what I should be calling this, but I've been having a few problems with this and I figured out how to fix it. So basically when you want to play Minecraft you have Bedrock Edition, Java Edition. And the Java Edition launcher, well, when you launch it of course, launches Java Edition. But at the bottom, there's this new little message. There's a new improved launcher. Download it now. And right here, it says that I have a new upgraded version of the launcher installed. Now, whatever you do, if you want to use mods or an older version of a mod or Minecraft, basically, if you have any problems that you need to use the not that you don't want to use the new launcher, you're going to want to keep this. But if you accidentally deleted it later on, I'll show you how to get it back with the new launcher. It is absolutely amazing because it allows you to play both Minecraft Java Edition and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, not at the same time, but it's, it's a launcher for both of them. Now, once this launches, I will show you guys exactly what this is. Now that this is launched, this is just the basic Minecraft Java Edition, but it also has an option over here to play Windows 10 Edition and Minecraft Dungeons. Now, one important thing about this is that you cannot download the mods, and that's very problematic. Now, mods should be updating for this very, very soon, and mods themselves are fine. It's just installations, or I'm pretty sure, like the mod launchers such as Forge, Fabric, Optifine, all of these different install installers. Now, one problem that I have had is I accidentally deleted Minecraft Java. Now, I'm making this video on the fly. I'm sorry if this is low quality, but I want you guys to know how to do this. Now, if this new launcher is not working for you and you need mods right now, or if at some point in the future, if there are still any problems, which I don't yet know of, because this is the day after the release of the new launcher, you want to go to the Minecraft.net page. Uh, let me pull this up. Okay, so right here, you're going to want to pull up Minecraft.net. You just type in M and go to Minecraft.net. Then you're going to go up here and type slash downloads, or you could go games, Minecraft, Try it free, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and select for an alternative download for Java Edition. Over here you have the options Minecraft Windows 10 and 11, but that's just the new launcher. You have Windows 7 and 8, recommended an alternative, Mac, and all these other Linux. Now, obviously if you're a Mac user, you want to download the Mac one. It's going to be the usual Minecraft Java Edition launcher, not the new one. But, if you're a Windows 10 user, possibly even a Windows 11 user, I don't have Windows 11, because my computer is too old, but on Windows 7 and 8, this is what you want to download. Now, I am on Windows 10, but it still works. Once you download that, you're going to pull up your um, installer. Now, it would be downloadable from wherever you found it, but make sure you get it from Minecraft.net. Over here, you're going to go to your installer, and you're going to double-click the Minecraft installer.msi. That's going to be your Windows installer, and it's going to bring up the default Windows in Minecraft launch setup. This is basically the usual Minecraft launch wizard, and this is exactly what you're going to use. Follow the steps here to install Minecraft, and it will give you Minecraft Java Edition. Now, once you've downloaded the Minecraft Java Edition, all of your files should remain between the two launchers. If I go over to .minecraft, then you can see right here I have all the things that I need, like mods, logs, libraries, all these different things, like Baritone, that's a mod I once used. Optifine, that's a mod I also use. Backups, Minecraft backups. All these different things that you need. And what you're going to do with all these is you don't need to do a thing. They're automatically transferred between the Minecraft Java Edition launcher and the Minecraft Unified, the Minecraft Windows 10 Unified launcher. They are the exact same files. Now, if you try and install a mod, it will automatically install a Minecraft Java Edition, not Minecraft Java Edition from the new launcher. That's just a problem that the mods currently have. And I hope this answered any questions you have. I'm sorry that this video was pretty low quality, but I'm doing my absolute best here because I want you guys to know exactly how to do this. Have a wonderful day, and remember, this is the way.